Monaco and Porsche. A truly exciting and extremely attractive combination and an occasion for everyone to enjoy, spectators, teams and drivers. This is definitely one of the hardest and one of the oldest and, and the best places to win. Holding Monaco is an important key to success, but in the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup, you need the best package. Even a world-class driver like Sean Edwards, the 2013 Monaco winner, can't perform without a good team. There's a lot of experienced drivers here now, and there always has been. The, com the level of competition is very high, and for a new driver to come in, it's not easy. The new Porsche 911 GT3 Cup is used exclusively in the 2013 the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup. And Monaco was one of two races with a very special car for a special guest, World Rally Champion I mean, Sebastian I have a Loeb. Respect for this guy, yeah, he's nine times world champion. I think it's one of the best drivers in the world of, of the century. And uh, I, uh, I just take all the things I, I can learn about him and about, about the driver and about uh, human being he is. I think in, in the Porsche Cup you have uh, every best driver from each uh, country, so they don't need me. They are strong enough and, and going fast enough. So, but uh, okay, I'm, I'm happy to go here and to, to try to have a fight with them and, and, and it's, it's fun. Young Frenchman Jean-Carl Vernet already comes very highly rated. Last year he took his first steps towards the Super Cup seat, driving for Sebastian Loeb in the French Porsche Carrera Cup. We, we try to speak together because uh, he's much faster as his teammate, so he has no one to compare and I'm alone in my team. So we were sharing a bit the experience we had here to try to improve both. Sebastian is, is really an amazing driver. I mean, looking at his data, he's, he's really quick for only a second race on, on the track. They perform well in Monaco. He obviously loves a challenge, like a tough track and a lot of pressure from the specialists. But in qualifying, he missed out on a chance to beat the up-and-coming Vernet in this clash of motorsport generations. Vernet was simply quicker. But afterwards, he explained some of the other key reasons for being ahead of Sebastian at the end of the race. This time was more easier because it's, time it's impossible to overtake, except if he's flying, but it looks like nuts. But now I'm happy. I mean, uh, we're good friends. It's, uh, it's cool. I had to do uh, that because I know it, normally it's his last race in Super Cup. So I can, I can say that I, did, uh, I finished one race in front of him. <laughs> Benny had to go through a tough test in Vallelonga at the end of last year, but he really impressed with his performance and was quickly brought into the Porsche Super Cup family. Um, well, we're like a big family. It's always been the case of Porsche over many years, but uh, although the motorsport family is part of our philosophy on track, all the drivers face a really tough competition. The 25-year-old Frenchman is not only very talented, he's ambitious and he's aiming for more success. Uh, they know that I'm a rookie in Super Cup, but I need to, to show them that uh, I'm improving race after race. And, uh, and fight for, for the podium at the end of the year. Support comes from a lot of different groups. There's his team, there's the other drivers he's racing against, Porsche Motorsport and his own family. And the support is greatly appreciated. Drivers being supported by us need to be good drivers. Performance is the main criterion, but those guys have to fit in too. We don't want them to be part of the, we do want them to be part of the Porsche philosophy. And jean eric seems to uh, fit us very well in that respect. Porsche Mobile One Super Cup is a true challenge for everyone involved. The same car and the same setup, close races again and again, and well known guest drivers providing even more excitement and entertainment. With such equal machinery and talented drivers, races are always closely fought, edge of the seat affairs, and everyone's aiming high, whether they're rookie, scholarship driver, or one of the most experienced hands like Sean Edwards. Jean Calverne seems to be fitting in very well, and he may soon be a contender for more than just a spot in the the top 10.